What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got the duty and we're here in Detroit, Michigan over here at Detroit Wrecker Sales. I reached out to them over their social media and I wanted to stop by and I wanted to show you guys some of the things that they got going on here. They're taking some of the best trucks on the road, the Ford Super Duty, and are making them into tow trucks with vehicles with a GVW of 10,000 or more and converting them with a setup from underneath called the Little Hercules, Little Herc. Um, let's go inside and I'm gonna show you guys around. So we're here inside their little display room. They got all the chains and everything that you're gonna need to get your tow truck job started or equipment to be replaced because stuff is gonna wear out. But they got definitely the stuff anybody, any tow truck driver is gonna need, um, even the best equipment here uh, that they manufacture in-house. All right, we're gonna go in the back here and check this out. They're making their own hydraulic cylinders in-house. Uh, this gentleman over here is making some sort of uh, pin or valve, something I think the owner was saying. I failed to hold on to that information. Well, let's start over here. This is what they're finishing with. Look at all these welds. Look at this. This is one of the reasons why I have stopped through here today. When I was looking at their Instagram and their social media account, all the products that they're making, the quality and the modifications that they're making to our Super Duties is A1. I was kind of uh, surprised what I was going to see underneath it. Um, it. It is so well thought out and implemented onto that vehicle it looks like it would have been an option from the factory to get uh, your truck turned into a tow truck. Look how thick this stuff is. Look at these wells. Look at this stuff. Continuous all the way. He's over here going to be grinding these wells. So none of this stuff that they're putting on the trucks, like I said in the beginning, is is all made in-house. We have a uh, jig that they've made up to build the rollback. Uh, I would assume a maybe 650, 750 chassis, but this is the skeleton of this, I mean, all this stuff here, all these measurements, everything taken into account uh, for safety, for load, distribution. Um, this is something, if you're gonna invest in a company uh, for your business and you need the best equipment, you started one with buying the correct vehicle, the correct powerhouse for your endeavor, but to add to that Super Duty, you need to stop through here and let them spec out your truck so that you can start your towing business. 
Over here, it looks like we got a couple of duties. Let's see what this one's all about. Okay, we got a 6-0. Haven't done anything here yet, maybe. Oh, yeah, looks like they've reinforced the frame. These guys can see what they're doing here. Taking a lot into consideration um, when we're adding loads to the back of the vehicle, um, we need to make sure that our frame with the weight hanging over the edge of the axle, we're not going to have any type of uh, fatigue strain on the skeleton of your truck. So there are some beefed up pieces of metal here on the side as you guys can see. Let me, let me go over to this other truck, you guys can see it way better. Alright, this guy's actually doing just this. Working on a Cummins. But check it out. Just mocking up. This is the stuff we don't see at the dealer. This is manufacturing. This is Detroit manufacturing at its finest. This is this is big boy erector set. This is what it's all about. Okay, here's a new body style 6-7. You guys can see the frame, see what they've, what they've added on to it. A little more rigidity, obviously. Just a little modification to the exhaust, the final assembly. Taking the beds off. Turnaround right now is about uh, two weeks, and they're taking appointments and deposits uh, as we speak. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to put a link in the description to Detroit Record Sales and make sure to ask for Michael and he'll be able to assist you with all of your questions. We've got a 2011 all the way from Connecticut. Big boy wheels and tires on it. Like a pearl white. All their hydraulics and controls all go in this little hideaway work toolbox which is conveniently below the bed line so if you want to put a tonneau cover on it you're not uh you know this whole stuff can be out of the elements which oops which is definitely a key for longevity if you're working in the uh, rust belt but check this out this is the final the final product this is what comes out of the the ass end of your truck A lot to manufacture and add on to these vehicles. Like I said, everything was taken into consideration as far as uh, ride height and capacities, and that's pretty slick. Gotta love that. Um, any vehicle needing or wanting this conversion is required to have a GVW sticker of 10,000 GVW. So if anybody's wondering if my 250 can do it, if your 250 says you have a 10,000 GVW sticker, then by all means, but uh, most likely not. So 350 and above is probably gonna be your best bet. Like I said, make sure to check out the description for Detroit Wrecker Sales. Um, gonna link their Instagram info and YouTube channel. Um, I just wanted to take this time today and stop by a Detroit company that was close to me and recognizing their quality and workmanship and obviously they're working on the best trucks. So tell me what you guys think. If anybody has this on their truck and as always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, sub, share. See you guys.